Hello, the one and only Xalophony here with another video of Ark Survival Evolved. This one's going to be going over how to, uh, you know, begin the game and get yourself started in this cruel, cruel world full of dinosaurs and death. So, first, you know, you're going to set up your character however you want. Of course, you just give him, like, any special features you want. You, you know how to do that. You can do that on your own. But then, I think, comes a very important decision. Where are you going to spawn? Now, quick hints, the east zones, they're relatively safe. The west zones, they're not bad either. But the north zone is terrible and dangerous. The south zone's not quite easy either. So if you're new to the game, I'd suggest spawning over the east and west. I personally have never spawned at the west. So I'm going to try spawning at west zone 2. Let's name myself Zalo and create the new survivor. Of course, we're going to get loaded into the game right now ah uh, beautiful it's night time isn't it oh no is the sun just rising I really hope it's rising in that setting because that would be very good so I can be able to see without requiring to make a torch immediately alright so here we are right on that west coast and right by the green beacon the green obelisk by the look of things so of course pretty standard you're gonna wanna start by getting wood now as you can see on the top of the screen, you get some thatch. Now this is just like Minecraft in the, temp in the sense that you just go and start punching things to get wood. So that's what we need. We need a certain amount of thatch and wood. Now I think we need one more of these and we can get going. Now remember when you use your fists, you do lose health as you can see going down in the bottom right corner. So we got that now. I think that will be plenty of supplies to get our stuff going. Now we just need a stone for the pick and we need flint and stone to make a torch so right here you can see these stones on the ground really easy to find along the beach sides uh, especially in the places where you spawn so you can go ahead and gather a couple of them you can also get them other ways but that's probably the way you're going to get them at first now we're going to go ahead and craft our first tool which is the stone pick so this will help us gather thatch very easily and flint very easily so of course it's in the inventory items you move it right there and bingo we got ourselves a stone pick now the stone pick is good for gathering thatch on wood as I said. It gathers thatch better than an axe does while an axe gathers wood even better. But what we really want to find is a big old rock to smack with this thing. So it looks like there's none in the immediate area. Ooh, it looks like there's someone up there. But we will try to find ourselves a rock. Let's see if we can spot one before anything bad happens. Alright, over here by the river we seem to have some of these rocks I was talking about. So, very simply, you just run up to them and start hitting them with the pickaxe just by clicking. Now, some of these rocks near the rivers, they can actually give you uh, metal as well as you saw there. But there we go, we got plenty of flint and a little bit of extra stone. If you want to get extra stone specifically from the rocks, you want to use the axe, which we will be making rather shortly. Let's go ahead and craft a torch, and I think that will give us enough experience to level up. There we go. So let's give ourselves a point in uh, stamina so we can run away from things even better. And let's unlock a couple things. How about the campfire and the hatchet. This will help us with a little bit of survival. Next we're definitely going to want to get that spear because that is an amazing weapon. But we have that now. So, of course, to make these, we are going to need for the hatchet, we need one piece of wood. We only gathered one previously. So we're going to want to go ahead and hit some of the wood. Here's something we cannot get right there but we'll go back to the forest gather a piece of wood and then we will be able to make ourselves a hatchet now we don't have the hatchet yet so we're just gonna have to use whatever we have to get a piece of wood the chances are not good let's just go ahead and punch this tree until we get some it may take a little bit of time but as soon as we get that hatchet things will be made a lot easier for us so seriously tree seriously right, I think that the pickaxe will probably be a little bit faster to get just one little piece of wood there we go we got it so now that we have the flint we have the thatch and we have the wood we can go ahead and craft a stone hatchet so stone hatchet is made we got some of our basic tools set up that being the hatchet torch and pick so we got pretty much this is the basic tools you're gonna normally carry with you you're always gonna want a torch in case it turns nighttime you're always gonna want a hatchet so you can cut stuff up uh, hatchets also gather materials from things that you kill a lot easier, such as hide, while the pickaxe will gather meat from them a lot easier. And we are going to need to get some more rocks if we want to make this campfire, so I'm going to gather a couple of those up and we'll be right back. 
and it appears we are now dehydrated. So that'll happen when, of course, your water meter down on the side goes away. So what we are going to do, since we don't have anything to really fill with water, we just go for a swim in the water, even if it's by the beach. There is no such thing as salt water in this game, and that will completely refill our hydration. Now let's go ahead and see what else we need to make a campfire. It looks like we need three more stone, and I just pooped. That happens in this game. Everybody poops. Can't avoid it. So we need one more stone, and there we go. We have it. Now we don't exactly have anything to put in a campfire. These dinosaurs are a little too fast for me to catch right now. So what I'm really going to want to find is something a little smaller. Now I don't exactly have a weapon yet, so I can't really fight a Dilophosaur very easily. But I will be able to take on this Dodo, this Darude little Dodo right here. We, there we go, we killed him with the axe. And now I think that we're going to want to try to prioritize meat to get some food out, so we're going to use the pickaxe. And there we go, we actually got two hide as well. And it looks like this dinosaur pooped over here. You can eat the poop, but I don't eat poop. I'm not... I'm not going to eat poop, you crazy. So, we're kind of near someone else's base right now, so we're going to try to just get a little bit out of sight in case they come back and get a little angry. But I don't want to go too far inland, because that's where you can find the bigger predators. So, we're going to go ahead and craft this. I don't know if we're quite going to be able to get to a level 3 yet to get that spear, but we will be able to get a little bit of food and nourishment for our body. So, actually... Yeah, let's put that right about here, behind this tree. There we go, we got a little bit of cover going. Now, to light the fire, you just put wood in there, and then it gives you the option to light fire. So, there you go. Let's cook up our two pieces of meat and get ourselves nourished. This takes a little bit of time, but trust me, it's worth it to eat, because if you look on the bar, we're about half empty right now. So, we're going to need some of that, but... We can gather some experience while we wait. So one way to do it is just by gathering resources. That'll gather. That'll uh, get you some experience kind of slowly. But one thing I really do enjoy about this game is literally everything you manage to do in the game will give you experience. So it's not like a grind to uh, get everything you need. So it makes it very, uh, very useful. So we are going to go over here and get this now. I think that we'll... Oops. I accidentally put out the fire, so I think only one piece is going to be cooked by now. But there we go, we're able to eat that. Om nom nom. Delicious. And then we can continue trying to hunt some dodos or gathering some resources until we get to level 3. But we don't want to go inland at all yet, because we do not have ourselves a spear, and it'll be super dangerous. So, but we are on the west coast, which does appear to be relatively safe right now. You can use charcoal for other things later in the game, but for now, you might just not want to worry about holding on to it. So, we are going to get this last piece of meat and go hunting. It looks like we were able to level up, so we're going to head, go ahead and get the spear. So, to get that, of course, just apply the engram points, but first you got to give yourself something else. Let's get health so we don't die right away. That's always good. So we're going to want to get that spear and probably some pants. So that'd be good. We actually have enough points to get something else. Let's get the shirt as well. Actually, the water skin we can't quite get yet, but that'll help you carry water throughout everywhere. The sleeping bag is very good to get because that'll make it so you will respawn in a certain area rather than a random area, which is very useful. So we're actually going to go ahead and get that because we don't want to lose where we are and be completely lost. So if you look at the resources necessary to craft these new things, for the spear we need fiber, as well as wood and flint. So we're going to need to gather some of that, and we also are going to need that for the pants. And we're only going to need fiber for the pants, but we need a lot of it. Fortunately, there's the other way of getting food, which also gets you fiber by pretty much just walking up to these larger plants and just spamming E on them, or just holding E on them, and that'll give you berries as well as fiber. So over in the distance there, we see a white beacon, which is able to give you, you know, supply stuff, but it's a little far from me. I'm not sure if I want to go that far right now, so I'm just going to leave it be for now. Or maybe we'll go up to it. Let's just get ourselves a spear first. That sounds like a plan. So we should be able to craft a spear now. There we go using up our fiber to do that and now we have a weapon now if you're not able to cook meat you can eat raw meat but remember it will hurt you so you probably don't want to do that now we have some berries so we're going to go ahead 
and eat on to some of them. We're also kind of running out of water, so after we get enough stuff to make ourselves some pants, we're going to grab some of that as well. Alright, as you see here, we have a couple Dilophosaurs, which are definitely something that we may want to avoid. They will attack us. They can even blind you. So, we're going to avoid them for now. Or try to avoid them for now, because all we have is a spear to defend us. And spears can break, which can be very, very bad if you're in a fight and then your spear breaks. So, we are going to go swim across this water. Ooh, food! We have a fish here. So we can go ahead and get him, if we can manage, let's try to throw the spear by right clicking. There we go. We got ourselves a fish. Now, sometimes when you kill something the bodies fly ahead, but we should be able to snatch up this fish, get some food, and then continue over to that beacon, if it'll still be there that long. And unfortunately these fish do not attack you, but piranhas do. Like these. Mega Piranha. Uh -uh. Get the spear. We are going to leave that fish for the Piranha. No, 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 no. We are not going to mess with that dude. Okay. Continuing on then. Well, this seems to be a shame. Normally, these... Normally, these drop down to the ground so you can reach them. This doesn't seem exactly reachable right now. Can I destroy this rock? I cannot. Can I climb this rock? I cannot. So, unfortunately, all the supplies in this beacon will be out of my reach. And it seems that we are running out of thirst once again now. You can see in the bottom left corner of our screen that there is a little fireball, which means that it is hot out right now and I have no clothing or shelter. It's it's going to affect me. It's going to make my thirst drop down even faster than it normally would. Now, if it's a, a blue icon with frost, it means that you're cold and your food will drop down faster than it normally would. So what we're going to want to do is get right back to that river over there and get some water as soon as possible. Now, we could sprint over there, but sprinting will also make your water drop faster. So if we're going to be sprinting, we may not make it there before we start going thirsty and we don't want to go thirsty so we're going to go over here get a drink and continue oh there we go we thirsty but now we got some water even if it's this murky water any water will do is delicious we are welcome to have it now we might try to go fishing again to get a little bit of wood I mean food now here while gathering the berries we got tons of fiber but we also gathered some seeds now these seeds can be used in later game for planting, but for now, they're just another food source. So we're going to keep on eating up, and now we can actually make some clothing. So let's make those pants that we were talking about. Get those going. And we may already have a spear, but we're going to make another two spears. Now this will help us defend against things, even if our spear breaks. Now they're a little heavy, so you can't go making an unlimited amount of spears. But carrying sometimes like up to five spears, extra spears around with you, is always a good thing to do if you want to survive against some of the uh, mean things that are out here. Now we're going to go see if we can kill some fish without getting eaten by piranhas. Well, we're not able to find any fish, but if you're confident enough, you can try to go for one of these guys. He's a level 2 Fiomia. So we're going to try to get right in front of him because these guys like to run away and go for some stabs. We might be able to drop him here. If he tries to run, our chances will drop. So we just try to get in his way. He seems to be getting away now. But we can try to get a couple more stabs in. Now we go for a spear throw. Unfortunately, it looks like this guy... Oh, the turtle! The turtle's coming through big! Come on, and we got him! Oh, that is going to be a ton of meat and a ton of hide. Now, since we do want to make a sleeping bag, which takes some hide, we're going to want to farm this guy with an axe. Ooh, and it's begun to rain, which means we may get a little bit colder, but it was a hot day out, so it's going to help us out. Also, we do not need to drink water at this time, so this is very good. So I think that's actually going to be enough hide to go ahead and make a sleeping bag. Oh, we need four more. So these guys are even more tough to take down. So I don't know if that's going to be able to happen. And he's a level 8. So let's go see if we can find a dodo or something small to 
to get ourselves a couple more pieces of hide. So we were able to kill another Fiomia and we were able to make a sleeping bag to put out here. Now, we can't quite unlock shelter to get us out of this rain yet, but it's not really hurting us right now. The sleeping bag will just make it so if we die, we'll spawn back here, and we can set up like a little bit of a shack here so we can survive later on. But I think we saw a raptor over here, so let's go make this interesting. Alright, so we made a couple extra spears just in case we we're going to need them here. But it seems you guys have seen mostly what this game about is about. Let's put our pants on here to have a little bit of protection. It's all about leveling yourself up, getting new engrams, and using those to help you build things to help you survive. And, oh wait, this isn't a raptor. This is a Dilophosaur. Let's take him on. Ow, and he has spit on me so I cannot see. This is going to be one of those things that you may want to avoid, but you may also be able to fight and get yourself a little bit of meat early game. But that's going to be it for this little bit of a tutorial here. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on the video. Let me know if it was helpful to you at all. And of course, more videos coming soon. I will see you guys next time. Oh no! <laughs> Do it! I'm ready. Uh. How do I let you go? Oh, I already did. Oh! How do I look? <laughs> that's epic. Oh man, you can't really control the direction of it. But... Oh. Uh.